¿Qué tal familia? ¿Cómo están? If you understand what the fuck I just said, I said what's good family, how's everybody? So, as you saw by the date, today is a very, and by the thumbnail, today is a very, 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 very special, glorious day. It's Monday, June 29th. Our home gym, our home bay, our stomping grounds, our first love, 24 hour fitness Glendora is open. So, we're about to get this 5 p.m. workout, as I'm sure many, many people have known. They're the only gym on this BS of preserving the workouts. You can't work out twice in the same day. You can't go to two different 24s in the same day. Anywho, we're still just going to give it a shot, see what it's about. And, of course, I'm, since it, the, it's only a one-hour workout, I'm not going to be doing too much recording. If I do, I'll put, the, you know, I'll put this on the ground and just you know record what I can but I'm not going to be too focused on that because again my time is very limited it's only an hour workout so I want to get the most I can out of my workout so let's get to it Workout. Just like that, it's gone. That we done. You know, that one hour it flew by, but at the same time I didn't. I got a really good workout. Obviously, you didn't see any footage because I was too focused on my workout. I'm coming back again tomorrow. You know, try to throw in a little bit of footage, and then you know, continue to continue it and give you guys my overall opinion and reaction to it so catch you guys mañana so day two we got this little you recognize this guy from the drunk house the one that couldn't handle himself <laughs> mm. uh, but again not too much recording because of the short period of time I get like one or two clips but let's get it All right, so post-workout, as I mentioned, wasn't gonna get that much footage. The only reason I was able to get footage is because I had this fella with me. Uh, so how do you feel about 24? 24 used to, this is where me and this guy met, this exactly one, so I know that makes his heart happy, makes his heart jump, skips a beat, all that good stuff. So this is home to him, this is memories. How do you feel with the new rules? The new rules? The, the only thing that doesn't sit well is the whole one hour thing. The reserve is cool, like whatever, that's not the big deal. It's the having to rush through the workout. And the only reason why me and W still get a workout in is because like you said, this is our home gym. So we already know how we're gonna go in and crush back or how we're gonna go and crush legs, shoulders, etc. you know? But that one hour thing is just killer. You heard it. If Miko don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. I'll tell you my reaction after. <laughs> Why the awkward silence? <laughs> You can see, I'm about to teach my class. Zumba! Zumba. <laughs> Zumba. Getting fat. Come here, making me look huge. That's me, that's big. All right, everybody, so I'm back home, and here's my overall review from going to 24-Hour Fitness and LA Fitness. So the pros and cons, so starting with LA Fitness. Um, LA Fitness, um, there's more pros than cons. Um, so the, the cons is that, just like anywhere, you do have to wear a mask, which I get, it's just it's super freaking hard to breathe. 
Um, felt like I was gonna faint during some leg days that I had, and I do have to wear gloves. That's like the only thing about my gloves. Um, that's the only thing really. Uh, the pros, uh, you don't need a, a reservation. You can go as many times as you want and you can stay there as long as you want, which is good. Uh, so overall, um, so I, I, there's more pros than cons to LA Fitness. Now starting with 24 hour fitness, as many of you know, you need to reserve a workout on the 24 hour fitness app, 24 go. According to them, you can't go two times a day or to 124 in the morning another 24 in the afternoon you can't go to two different 24s in the same day they've also mentioned in the comments that you can go twice a day um, unless I mean you can go twice a day if uh, for that second session if they're not a capacity which they won't be a capacity because nobody's going because a lot of people are not are unhappy with the way 24 is handling things the one hour workouts it's a pro and a con the pro to it is that you can still get a good workout if you're doing um, like arms or shoulders, but if you're trying to, uh, because the reason why it's a pro is because because um, you know since you're so limited on time, um, you're not gonna really be you know looking on your phone, social media, changing your music because you're like okay I only got like I only have an hour so I got to get my stuff done. So you can get good workouts in within the hour. Um, however, the cons is that you do. Again, you do feel rushed because you can get a lot done, but then you're like, oh damn, I only have like 10 minutes left. Uh, so that um, on top of that, I wouldn't recommend doing uh, especially legs because you're going to feel super rushed, especially on if you're doing squats, deadlifts, um, whatever the case. You don't want to rush that and you know, jeopardize your form and then you know, there goes injuries. Uh, so you feel overall you feel rushed even when you're having a good workout. You do feel rushed because the time is over before you know it. Uh, so at 24, you do have to wear a mask. Uh, now this Monday, which is um, Monday the 13th, they're going to require you to wear gloves um, at all times. So again, nothing wrong with gloves, nothing wrong with masks. I understand the safety. Um, it's just it's really hard to breathe. Um, one more pro to the uh, the 24 is that um, they do cl they do. Uh, 30 minutes before a session and 30 minutes after so I do see you know why that's you know they're, they're being clean and you know trying to keep stuff, stuff um, safe and stopping the spread um, another pro to it is that no matter what time you go um, there's always less pe there's there's always like not that many people there like 10 15 maybe 20 um, max um, so you're not waiting around you're not waiting around to get anything or to get a workout in so that, that is a that is a um, that's a good thing and then since there is less people there's that, that distance that you can keep for, for safety. Overall, I would say the biggest uh, con to 24, and it's the thing that kind of just you know makes it the worst, is that is these one hour workout reservations. They said it was supposed to last a couple weeks, but who knows how long. They're probably going to stick to that for a while. Uh, so, and, there, and the thing that I don't understand is how they're the only gym doing it. Other other gyms doesn't have a work, one hour workout reservations. Like it would make twenty four better, and they wouldn't continue losing business as they are if they would make the the workouts an hour and a half because that's that's better than just one hour. Anywho, over overall, I see both sides. I see both gyms. Um, LA Fitness is better in that sense than LA other gyms. Um, however, even with all these rules and restrictions, it is better. And having the luxury of working out and being able to go to the gym. As opposed to not having a gym and doing these home workouts which are just completely boring and so repetitive unmotivating after a while so so i'm pretty much just gonna take it forward it is take advantage i'll go to 24 go to la and go to small other gyms that I, as much as i can before gyms shut down here in cali once again because the other states they're already shut down like in florida and i think in arizona so I just have a feeling that Cali's gonna shut down once again, so I'm just gonna try to get as many gains as I can, enjoy as many workouts as I can, and get as much as I put in all that hard work before we shut down again. As always, I wanna know what, what is it that you guys wanna see. You can let me know on my Instagram or on the comments down below. And for everybody that is new or has already been here, thanks for all the support, I appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and one love, and P.S. Stay cool because it is hot as fuck out here in SoCal. It's starting to, now it feels like summer, so stay cool.